Our feature story today is about saving the past for the future. We'll visit Seed Savers Exchange. This organization collects thousands of heirloom vegetables, herbs, flowers, and plants. Outside of the government, it's one of the largest seed banks in the United States. Market to Market's Judy Blank reports. Sunlight filters through verdant gardens at Heritage Farm, headquarters for Seed Savers Exchange. The thousands of heirloom varieties in the Seed Savers collection have been passed down through generations of farmers and gardeners and are valued for their genetic diversity and adaptability to pressures such as climate change. Seed Savers' mission is to preserve and share this agricultural heritage with its membership and the public all over the world. There's a lot of moving parts to Seed Savers and all of them kind of come back in some way to our core mission, which is to maintain heirloom seeds, distribute them, educate the public about genetic diversity, why is it important. Many of the heirloom varieties in the collection are donated by people who become members of the organization and share seeds that have been grown by their families for generations. The handing down of seed is what inspired Diane Otwaley to co-found Seed Savers Exchange in 1975 with her former husband, Kent Whaley. Diane's grandfather, Baptist John Ott, gave her morning glory seeds that were brought to America by his ancestors. I'm holding this handful of seed that I'm linking back to ancestors in another country that I never knew about or thought about. I felt the magic in that seed um, was bringing my family into my life. In 1986, Seed Savers Exchange expanded to the 890-acre Heritage Farm, where Grandpa Ott's morning glory continues to flourish. And now when you think about the power of that little seed, we have 13,000 people that are members, we have 24,000 different accessions of seed in our collection, and we've grown into this beautiful, beautiful paradise, and all from a little seed. The gardens are living classrooms that are open to the public. Seed Savers offers various educational resources, including online webinars. While its primary purpose is to educate the public about heirloom plants, the history of the seed plays a vital role in Seed Savers' goal of preserving America's garden heritage. You have the Phoebe Vincent heirloom. Our seed historian was able to get the backstory on that by emailing the great-great-granddaughter. We were able to get more of a story and background to the bean, as well as give the seed back to the family because they had lost it. The organization also helps the public learn about seed saving techniques that are no longer commonly known. Heirloom seeds are seeds that are open pollinated, meaning that the, the seeds can be saved from the fruit, grown out the following year, and you're still going to have fruit that's true to the parent type. Heirloom comes in in the sense that it's been handed down generationally. Most farming in America prior to World War II involved open pollinated seeds where the farmers would select seeds from the harvest to be their seed stock for the following spring. The Millennium Seed Bank Partnership estimates between 60,000 to 100,000 horticultural varieties, about 25% of all plants, are in danger of becoming extinct. Seed Savers founders believe genetic material in open pollinated seeds could be critical to our future survival. In many cases, they've had a chance to adapt to many climate conditions and over the years have turned into a very strong plant. And I just think that who knows what we're gonna need for plant breeding in the future. A hundred years from now, we might not know what seeds in our seed bank are best adaptable to the conditions that might exist, say, here in Decorah, Iowa. The historic apple orchard at Seed Savers Exchange displays hundreds of varieties of 19th century apple trees. But Seed Savers says those represent only a small fraction of apple varieties that have survived. Our orchard manager at Seed Savers, his name is Dan Bussey, and he's also an apple historian and he's working on a book. He's identified more than 20,000 different named varieties of apples that were grown in North America between 1629 and the year 2000 over 20,000 varieties. As of 2000, he estimates that we're down to about 4,000 varieties. Seed Savers' goal is to offer apple trees for sale in its catalog, which already features hundreds of heirloom vegetables, flowers, and herbs. So Seed Savers is probably most known for the commercial catalog, and that has about 600 varieties in it. Um, they've kind of been standout all-star varieties that we want to um, make available to the general public, and that's our fundraising mechanism. 
We sell seed throughout the world, primarily uh, in the United States. We probably had a customer base this year of around probably 40 to 50,000 customers. In addition to its catalog, Seed Savers also publishes a yearbook to facilitate the actual exchange of seed between some of its more than 13,000 members. And that person-to-person -person exchange is really the most resilient system we can have for our seeds. That means that they're out there, it means that they're getting used, and it means that they're relevant and important to people. The organization also sells wholesale to larger growers and in bulk to other seed companies. More than 500 garden centers across the nation carry Seed Savers Exchange retail seed racks. I'd say uh, more than 50% of the revenue that we generate each year comes from seed sales of individual packets. Seed Savers contracts with various growers to help produce its retail products. Mike Bullinger and Katie Prohaska of River Root Farm in Northeast Iowa help grow garlic with a little assistance from their two young children. We'll sell about 50 to 60,000 heads of garlic for seed this uh, year, and uh, they're part of that effort. They're providing the seed stock to us, and then we're growing it out. We're doing all the processing and bringing it back to them as a finished product. Mike and Katie also provide certified organic seedlings for sale at the Seed Savers Exchange Visitor Center at Heritage Farm. Like plants that originally began with a single seed, the exchange has grown over the past 40 years. Its vast seed collection is carefully maintained according to international gene bank protocols. This is the freezer vault, the long-term storage area at Heritage Farm. But the history also is preserved in literary form. Hundreds of letters accompanying seed donations are carefully studied and documented. Each year, more than 20,000 visitors are drawn to Heritage Farm, where the work to preserve agricultural diversity has expanded to include livestock, such as rare, ancient White Park cattle. And while Seed Savers Exchange is Aunt Whaley's top priority, she has found time to write about her passion for preserving botanical history. Her book, gathering, memoir of a seed saver, is a story of the exchange. I think when we started, we you know, we felt the urgency too, because when a seed is gone, that's, it's gone, and it's irreplaceable. For Market to Market, I'm Judy Blank. You can watch this story again on the Seed Savers Exchange on our Farm Week website. That's farmweek.msucares.com. You can also watch Farm Week's stories on YouTube and Facebook. We'll have a link to the Market to Market website where you can see the story as well as read the script. We'll also have a link to the Seed Savers website, seedsavers.org.